Hi, my name is Bas. I'm a sound designer at Keoken Interactive and Hunchback Music. And today I'm going to show you how to create explosions and impact sounds with Faceplant and Snapheap. Sounds like these can be super useful in sound design as a layering tool to create impacts and add just more punch to your uh, sound design. So without further ado, let's get into the project. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these explosions by using Faceplant and Snapheap from Kilohertz. Um, synthesizing explosions can be a really interesting way for uh, adding layer and depth and uh, punch to your sound design of explosions and impacts. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I have a blank slate of faceplant in front of me and I start out with adding a sine wave and pitch that all the way down to, with, let's say, 34 semitones. Uh, that's because we just want the sub uh, and we just want the char characteristics of the sine wave. After that, we add some noise. We put both these gains all the way down and we're going to automate them with a curve. This curve can be, let's say like 1.89 seconds long. And I'm going to make it a bit of a transient by doing this. I'm going to add this to the gain of the sine wave, and a little bit less to the actual noise. And it sounds like this now. I will put these both to a distortion, which I will put on hard clip. And I put the drive almost to the max. After this, I will uh, get a sampler. And I will get one of the kicks I created also in Faceplant. Uh, but you can use any kick you like. And I will put one of those kicks in here. I will send it not through distortion, but through a separate lane. And let's, uh, let's just keep it like this for now. Um, after this, I will get a reverb and for the sake of this tutorial I will just get a preset of the forest floor from the reverb, uh, the native reverb of Ableton. But you can basically use any uh, reverb you like. I found that this method works best with, um, not with impulse responses, but just with uh, synthesized reverbs. Um, I will put the dry wet all the way to let's say 52% and decay a little bit back until we have that. After that, I will add a bit of uh, instance of snap heap. And here is what we are, where we're going to design the till of our sound. Um, the till is for a big part dependent on the reverb and that's greatly important for the eventual sound of the explosion that we're going to make. Um, we start off by adding another distortion, put it on hard clip, put the drive all the way over here, until we have this. We cut off the high end. And after that, we add a instance of multipass and chose, choose the dynamic preset of NOTT. After this, we add an instance of the three band EQ, boost the low, cut off the high, a little bit more drive. All right. Um, we saturate once more or with uh, the saturation press, saturation preset uh, of the distortion. This time a little bit less. The mix a little bit over halfway. Just like so. Um, after this, we are going to add the haze plugin for adding in a little bit of uh, stereo information. 
and we add a transient shaper with the attack all the way up and clip open. Uh, after the transient shaper, we add another instance of the three band EQ, boost the low a little bit again. This time the high as well. Um, and after this, we're going to saturate it a little bit with the saturation and the mix a little bit below halfway. Great. Um, after this, we add a slice EQ where I will cut away a little bit around 700 hertz and boost the high a little bit. Also bo boost the low a little bit. I will add a disperser. Just for the low end. And add a limiter all the way at in the end. You can play around with boosting the input gain. All right, we already have quite an interesting sound, but we can do a little bit more. Uh, one way to add a little bit more of a in an interesting impact is by adding another curve, put it way shorter and make a, uh, make a curve as yeah, the same that you would use for creating, for example, a kick. Put it way shorter and automate the pitch of our sine wave with this. We can make it really short. Um, another interesting thing that we can do is adding an other sine wave. This time we make it really high and also really short and take that same curve for adding a really high pitched sound. The tail is still not really anything I like, so I make this a little bit lower. And I will also make the decay a little bit lower. All right, uh, this is the time that you can start Resampling. I will add another audio track, put it on resampling, record, record both the um, faceplant track, MIDI track, and the audio track, and just start to uh, get recording. And I'm now going to push different uh, MIDI keys, different keys, uh, different pitches, and see what it will bring. That one was really fun, really low. <laughs> All right, got quite some material there. I will just close the faceplant instance for now, and we're going to work with just these samples. I will add a few um, audio tracks. My audio tracks always initialize with this low pass, but I'll just remove it for now. And we can start playing with these sounds. I will just take the first explosion. Cut off the beginning. And I will copy it to the other track as well. And with Holding down Ctrl and Shift, I can go through the whole sample and 
just take another one. This one I'm going to use just as a kind of double transient so that we can get a result like this. You can also do that by taking a kick. Put it in there. Cut off the high end a little bit. And layer it. Put down the volume. All right. One way to add a little bit of Still to this thing is by copying the uh, explosion sample. I'll just take an other explosion sample that we recorded. That sounds all right. Take this thing away, and um, I will put uh, turn off warp and pitch it down with twelve semitones. Then I will cut off the beginning. Just take the tail. Fade it in, place it like here, turn down the volume a little bit, and look how it sounds. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with this. So I will group this, put a limiter on there. So what you can do now is start adding all kinds of things. Uh, for example, some debris from rocks fl uh, flying around when the explosion happens. Um, I just take some debris over here and start playing around with it. After playing around with it for a little bit, um, I settle down on this debris and the final result is this. That um, gives us the final end result. I hope you learned something from this and that you like the tutorial. Uh, the tutorial is uh, loosely based on a video by The Negativist, and I would definitely recommend checking out his videos as well. He mainly uses Vital, and I think you can do this in basically any synthesizer. But Faceplant is a great synthesizer for just playing around with all the parameters that you can use, because if you change one of these parameters, the whole sound will change because the processing is so intense all right that was about it thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next video see you hey there i appreciate you watching the video if you like this one check out this video or that video if you want to support the channel make sure to click on top of my head on the logo and subscribe to the channel